Hey, welcome to the show. The other day, Angelina and I were out trying to catch butterflies, and we noticed that the grasshoppers out there were jumping really high and far, and we were wondering, how can they do that? So in today's show, we're gonna be using the scientific method to discover just that question. Why don't you join us? So the first step to the scientific method is to ask a question. So Angelina, how do you think grasshoppers jump so high? What do they use? Their legs? That's a good theory. Okay, now we have to plan our experiment, Angelina. First, we're gonna go out in the field and observe grasshoppers. And then we're gonna bring one back and dissect it. Okay, let's go. That in the, open up the bucket there for me. Good job. Hi. 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 Yep, keep on doing it. Okay, now let's go put it in the freezer. All right, we just got a grasshopper from the field, and so we just took it out of the freezer. And Angelina, why don't you go ahead and put that on the microscope right there. So we're going to observe this. You can see it has six legs, Angelina, but the front four legs are used for walking. And look at the back two legs. Those are used for jumping. It also has wings. See the wings right there? That helps it go farther. So Angelina, can you tell me how does a grasshopper jump so far? It uses its back legs and what else? And its wings. Hey, we found out how a grasshopper could jump so far and high by using the scientific method. The grasshopper uses its back legs for jumping and also its wings to make it go farther. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the show today. Make sure you leave a comment down below and stop by again.